All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, you got people killing themselves, selling their soul just to get money. You got the elite banking family, they got all this money, but. That money ain't going to save you. All the riches in the world are not going to save anyone. You Israelites turning back to the God of the Bible. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, learning the ways of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai according to the Bible. Look, that will get you delivered from the wrath of the Lord. Let's get this. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Look, that's exactly what's coming. Wrath is coming. Destruction is coming. Anarchy is coming. And you will not be able to pay your way off. You know? You're not going to be able to pay your way off when all hell breaks loose. Got people bringing into jewelry stores. Things of that nature. Come on, man. Some jury will not be able to deliver you from the wrath that is coming. The scripture tell us the Lord is coming back to do away with the sinners, man. And all that do wickedly shall be stubble, man. All the proud and yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. So your money ain't going to mean nothing when the Lord start bringing these plagues. More plagues. You know? I'd rather be just like the scriptures say, rich in faith. He showed the poor of this world rich in faith. Now, we're not digging out of trash cans and things of that nature, but we're content with what we got, right? Once again, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 4, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. Righteousness, Israel. Remember, learn not the ways of the heathens. You got these different athletes, you know, rappers. Whatever status you got in the earth, they got the money, they got the cars, they got the clothes, they got the you know what. So then they think, you know, why, why would they need to turn back to the Lord? That's what they're thinking. I got everything that I need. I'm 50 stinking rich. My bank account is on swole. What do I need the Lord for? Well, the scripture says, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Righteousness, Israel. Never forget that righteousness, Israel. This is Psalms 34 9. Oh, fear the Lord. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Ye his saints. Who are the saints? Israelites. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're the saints. We're the saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. See, you feel your high, but you ain't going to want anything. You're not going to lack anything. When it's time to eat and the whole world is starving, look, you know the Lord is going to bless you with something to eat. The Lord said, well, my servant shall eat. See, Israel keep forgetting about that. Because the majority of our people, you know what I'm saying? Well, not the majority, but you got a, a so-called elite class of Israelites that have sold out. They got the fortune, they got the fame, they got a big giant name for themselves. You know, the last thing they're doing is that they ain't trying to turn back to the Lord. They don't want to fear the Lord. But sooner or later, you're going to fear the Lord. Either way, you're going to fear the Lord, man. Either way. Let's get this. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. For the love of money. Not having money, because money is a defense. Remember that. For the love of money. Is the root of all evil. You got you got our people actually got like four or five jobs trying to get money. Ain't thinking, ain't got time for the Lord. Ain't never picked up the Bible and read it. This is a, a white man's book anyway. They're not learning what pleases the Lord, what, what pisses him the hell off. No, they're just killing themselves trying to get some greenbacks. And them FRN notes ain't even real money anyway. Real money is gold, land, substance, you know, cattle. That's real money. Them FRN knows them dollars, them greenbacks, with them faces on them, them big faces, that ain't even money. All right? 
So you're killing yourself for nothing. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Which while some covered after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Oh yeah, even big even Biggie came out with some truth when he said more money, more problems. Biggie told you, look, more money, more problems. Everybody and their grandma are gonna try to find you. And then you see how these people getting their riches? You know, they're getting their riches through carnal acts, through wicked sacrifices. They're not doing anything righteous to get their money. The scripture said, give us this day our daily bread. But our people want to be filthy, stinking rich, so they're doing anything to get it. You know, the scripture said, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So you're killing yourself with them greenbacks. Committing wicked acts for those greenbacks. Look, that's going to lead to you dying so come. Which we read earlier, righteousness delivered from death. Didn't we read that? This is Proverbs chapter 30. Verse 8. I start at 7. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 7. Two things have I required of thee. Deny them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. The scripture says, strive not to be rich. A rich man falls into many diverse and hurtful lusts. He got the money to commit all kind of wicked acts and, and fulfill all his desires. You got to be careful trying to get a whole lot of money. Money changes a person, either for the worse or for the good. It says, give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. And the true riches is this knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. But our people don't want that. They're like, nah, that's boring. You know. What can that word profit me right about now? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I need a place to stay. Well, if you took heed to the word, you would probably have some money right about now and a place to stay. You have but Shemel Shai said, what? I have never forsaken any Israelite that called upon me. They were seeking my face. The pastor didn't tell you that, huh? Feed me with food convenient for me. At least I be full and deny thee. And you see these people that are filthy, stinging rich, they deny the Lord. They're full. You know? Or at least I be at least I be full and deny thee and say, Who was the Lord? Or at least I be poor and still and take the name of my power in vain. So you want to be just above water. You want to be just above water. People see the car that you drive. People see the clothes that you wear. People see how you look and they perceive that the Lord must not be dealing. Especially these um, poverty pimps. These poverty pimp preachers. You know, the thing gain is godly. You know, the thing gain is godliness. They look at you all crazy because you ain't got the fashions. You ain't got the big diamonds and all that. They look at you all crazy. Because you ain't got the things that they got. But look what they had to do. They had to lie their way to get rich, man. And the Lord said, what? I hate of all liars. The Lord hate of all liars. Remember that now. You know, James chapter 2, verse 5. Just a quick lesson through the spirit. You got our people killing themselves with scratch off tickets. Just trying to get risky. You know, working three, four jobs. That, that's outrageous. You got three, four jobs. You know you most definitely ain't got time for the Lord. James chapter 2, verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not your howl. By Hashem, I wish I had chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. And that's a beautiful saying. That lets us know you ain't got to be 50 stinking rich for the God of the Bible to love you. You know, to be dealing with you. You had the T.D. Snakes, the Al Sharp Tons, the Jesse Jackass Jacksons, so forth and so on. They're like the, the only people that the God of the Bible loves is rich people. Nah, they didn't say that. James chapter 2, verse 5, hearken, meaning listen, my beloved brethren, have not yet how by Hashem Yahweh Shai chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith? So we rich in faith. We believe in things that we don't see. In heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised to them that love him. So as you go throughout your travels today, just know that you have Bashim Yahweh chose the poor 
of this world. And, and the scriptures tell us, don't trust in uncertain riches. You could be rich today and poor as on know what tomorrow. Remember that, Israel. You could be rich today and poor tomorrow. That, that's how it goes anyway. That's exactly how it goes. Let's get this. I got one more and then I'm going to wrap it up. I just want to bring out something quick. A little quick hitter. On having riches and being poor. Then you have Bashim Shah got us right where he want us. Right above water. You know, and, and be content with that. This is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 16. Look, listen, better is little with the fear of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is better to have a little bit and fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? Than great riches and trouble therewith. You got all that money, you know what I'm saying? But somebody's constantly trying to get at you. Having a little bit, being content with what you got, and fearing you how about Shimei Abishai is better than having a whole lot of riches and getting it through corruption and getting it through wicked ways, man. Never trust in uncertain riches. Wisdom is better than rubies, right? I know, I know y'all done heard that scripture right there. I, I'll finish it off with that. I will finish it off with that. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11. For wisdom, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Then we look, don't we all read? We read it every day. Um, Isaiah 33 and 6. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is going to keep you stable. I will read that though. Let's read this first though. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that, that may be desired. Or not to be compared unto it. Remember, wisdom. And then the thing about it, you can't even put a price on what we have. This wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding of the scriptures. You can't put a price on it. It's more valuable than anything on the face of the earth. And the God of the Bible gave it to us for free. But then you got everybody killing themselves for greenbacks. You better kill yourself to get this knowledge. This wisdom, this understanding of the scriptures. Which is going to keep you stable. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And it say nothing about money in there. Even though money is a defense, but when all hell break loose, that money ain't going to mean nothing. All hell is breaking loose now. And that money don't mean nothing. But this word do. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The true riches. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is his treasure. So what's the true riches? What's, his, what's the true treasures? This word. Which one will you choose? Shalom.